but uh, my father is not from, and I sometimes have some difficulty explaining to him how the whole shiduchim system works. Because, like, you know, my father's an attorney, and we're not crazy rich, but, you know, he does well. And uh, he says to me one time, he says, Eitan, I don't understand, like, you have some money. I would think that people will be jumping all over you. Like, why, is it, why has it been so hard for you? And I said, Dad, listen, in this community, we value things more important than money. Like where your great-grandfather was from. <laughs> he said, America's bad? I said, yeah, America's very bad. <laughs> um, so of course, I'm talking about Gej. Uh, and other communities that might call it Yichus. For those not familiar, Gej means that your Zayde was a who sat in prison in Russia. Um, that's another thing I had fun explaining to him. You know, prison good, America bad. Um, but anyway, so, but I'm a proactive guy. So uh, I actually sought to rectify this. So many years back when I was in yeshiva in Tzvas, I had a friend who was very, very gesh. Uh, both his grandfather and his great-grandfather both were in prison in Russia. I think that's actually where they made it to know him. Uh, so I contracted with him, true story. I contracted with him to purchase 10% of his gesh for the sum of 1,000 American dollars. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal, right? I thought so too. But later I found out that was only one side. On the other side, he came from like Nachman Breslover and the first Nachman Rebbe and canceled out the whole thing. I went back to him, I said, take your tainted gesh and give me my $1,000 back. 